This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To's. Today, we've got two units here. We've got two HVLP units. We've been using the Titan Cap Spray 115 for several years now. John's been using it quite a bit, and we really like this unit. It's a great HVLP unit, turbine unit. We just got sent, brand new, haven't even used. Graco sent us their Finish Pro HVLP 9.5. I think they're probably equivalent units. I yeah, think, um, yeah, I think they're pretty close to the same, same size, same, same standard of unit. Same, same size, same standard, and I think they're about the same price too. Yeah, yeah, they're within about a hundred bucks of each other. They're yeah. both about what fifteen hundred. About fifteen hundred dollars for them. And now here we got the gun, and uh, some of the things I, I really like about the gun, and one of them, um, I'm not sure you probably won't be able to see it, but there's some laser etching on your air control and your fluid control. It's, it's laser etched on the air, and that's one thing uh, I kind of get confused I keep forgetting you know even using it for a while which one's air which one's fluid but um, so I think that's kind of cool um, I, I do when you're making the adjustment the Titan right here that the air adjustment has like this positive click where you feel it when you turn it I really like that um, what, what do you like about the, the this Titan gun and what do you like about the Graco gun? You know, the to me the Titan gun feels more hefty. It, this this feels just like it's a little bit lighter, maybe um, not less quality, but th this just feels stronger and, and a little bit tighter in my hand than, yep. than that one does. Uh, what I do like about the the Graco gun is with their um, their version of the PPS system, it's not quite as far away from the gun, and so the gun seems a little more compact. To see, this hangs down quite a bit lower than that. Graco version does. Yeah, so this Graco version, um, it's up a little bit higher. I do, I think that the, the casting on this, kind of the body, I like the casting on that one a lot better. Looks, um, it just looks, uh, I don't know, looks more durable and stronger. It's kind of interesting. This is just a sticker on here and that sticker is just gonna come off. Not sure why that wouldn't have been laser etched in there. Um, got a phone call. We don't want to be taking that right now. <laughs> but um, uh, some of the things like the, the front end right here, I do, I mean, this one looks really, really nice. It's got some laser etching in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think about the two um, <clears throat> tip assemblies? You know, the, the two front ends, it'll be interesting to see um, how the assembly and disassembly of the, the projector on the, the front goes compared to the, the Titan. The, the nice part about the Titan Elite is it, the, the front end also flips around to the, the top and so you can use it as a gravity fed gun. You know, with the the Graco, um, and I can't remember what it's, the Edge 2 Plus, um, you're limited to either a metal siphon cup or their um, plastic, I can't remember what they call it, but it's like a PPS system. Um, <clears throat> or they have a remote pod also that goes with it. The, these PPS systems, this is a, these are plastic cups and they're pressure fed cups so you can spray your uh, cup gun upside down. It's kind of a cool system. This um, Titans uses uh, one that's manufactured by 3M. I like that 3M cup better than this Graco cup. It looks just more durable, heavy duty. It's it nice looks and clear to look into too, so you can see a little bit easier than the fogged plastic. Yeah, you can see through this one a lot better, which we like better. So they're they're both. Um, I mean, this isn't a bad one. It uh, looks like it's quality made, but definitely like that one better. What do you think about the triggers? Do you think about the same? Yeah, you know, the, the trigger pull on the Graco is definitely um, softer. Uh, that said, <clears throat> this gun's been used on a lot of different jobs, and so uh, it, it's probably due for a good scrubbing on the projector, but the um, there's less pressure behind this pin set. Yep. I do like the, the handle on the Titan. I think the handle is a better quality handle, and um, it, it's just a little bit nicer. I think it, it has a better fit for me. Um, it is, they do have it stamped and they're kind of like molded, you know, tighten into the handle, which I like that. This one doesn't have anything in the handle, but they're great units. I think this right here, the hook, this hook is plastic. So if you dropped it, I think it might be more likely to break. Yeah, I mean, that could be the case. You know, the nice part about this hook too, though, is it's reversible. So if you don't like your hook facing forward, if you want it backwards for whatever, if you're working in a spray booth or something and, and that works better, or you can take it off if you find that it's getting in the way all the time versus this hook being molded into the gun. I, so, I never I never knew that. Well, so it's something new every day. How do you reverse it? Does it just... You know, I think it just, if I remember right, it, it looks just, like it's slight. Whoa! It just slides off on oh. the, the front right there. And so oh, you can go. flip it the other way or you can totally take it off. That's, yeah, so it has like, um, that's interesting. I've never, 
yeah and it just kind of clicks into place there you go that's a really cool feature yeah. Yeah. You know, especially um, like, you know, that gun has a little bit more of a, a head than this gun does. So if you wanted to take it off, you could um, give yourself a little bit more slim of a profile. But I, yeah. I always use the hook for different things. Yeah. So we got the units here. Um, I, I thought this this filter was really, really cool. It's high quality, well made, but you like the filter on that better. Yeah. You know, I look at the, the Finish Pro system here and the way the filter sticks out, to me, it just looks like it's going to get knocked onto something yeah, and you're going to dent yeah. your filter in. Yeah, it's really high quality. I, I really, this is stainless steel, uh, very high quality. Mm -hmm. It's heavier. I mean, yeah, it is heavier. You know, this is definitely just plastic. I do like the stainless steel casing on that. It does kind of just make it feel more heavy duty and industrial. Um, but like I said, I do like how the turbines are kind of, and the, the filters are integrated in the system on this one rather than sticking out the side. Yeah, and this was, um, something right here I thought I thought was really cool you can set your cup attaches there mm -hmm. but um, one of the things about this now your cup is sitting on the outside and it can catch on things bang on things when you're walking and stuff I do think it's cool um, the cup sets inside there yeah and it's made more for their uh, their siphon the the PPS cup doesn't really fit super secure yeah. in here but you know the other nice part about the cap spray is you can attach the uh, the transfer pump into it so you can feed right out of a single gallon right up to yep. your hose and i'm not sure graco has an option like that yeah the transfer pump just fits right in here and and it's it actually just powered plugs right by in. the whole unit so yep. you plug it right in fits in and then you've got it's kind of almost like an airless sprayer you've yep. got a, a siphon and a prime hose that come out of that what do you think about the the on off knob this one uh, compared to titans on off switches drive me crazy we're always knocking yeah. them off they're always getting broken and, and that's yeah. one thing about titan that that um is a little frustrating the, these um knobs to us we haven't used this thing at all but they just appear to be a way way better knob a higher quality knob we have we use graco's airless sprayers which yeah. their knobs last longer these are these little rubber knobs and and it's really hard to see but all the the rubber um gasket around here is already broken mm -hmm. on this thing and, and it's like after the second use i feel like they get busted busted they, they rip both um but uh this one has storage in the back right here where yep. you can store you can store your projector sets in the back and your tightening wrenches and things like that this is really cool it has a storage little drawer right here where you're and it's got like um foam molding where you can put your little tips in right there yeah yeah so uh we're really excited to test this thing out so you know, one feature about the Graco unit that we we haven't covered yet is they do have the smart start technology oh on there. we haven't talked about that which you know one of the things that's a little obnoxious is if I got a spray booth set up and we're spraying some cabinets and I've got the turbine set up outside of the booth and the hose running in you can't just turn the turbine off without leaving the booth and turning it off or having somebody turn it off. With the smart start system, um, this pump, the, the turbine actually turns off after you stop using the pump. And then to turn it on, apparently you just pull the trigger on your gun. It must sense the pressure or, or sense the, um, the, however it does it, and it turns back on. So it's not just constantly running the whole time, which means less heat on your unit, less likely to overheat. And then it also yeah. does have a, a bit better of a turbo control is what they call it, where you can set how fast that turbine is moving. So Whereas this Titan, you just have two settings, high and low. Yeah, so that controls right here. So I think those two features are amazing. This we haven't used it yet, so we we, we haven't we don't know how it actually works. Right. But um, we've read about it, and the Smart Start seems like it's going to just be an amazing feature because running these HVLP sprayers, you're in the booth and stuff like that, and you're um, got to move doors or something like that. And you're moving them for five minutes. That thing's just running. It's just yeah. obnoxiously Man, loud. And the guys get obnoxious, get annoyed with me yelling, "Hey, turn it off! Hey, turn it on!" All yeah. the time. Yeah, and that's so. That's that's going to be a really cool thing and this other being able to control the turbine um, is going to be a cool feature we we don't know how easy the filters change on the on this stuff because you do need to change and clean your filters yeah, um, quite is, often it is nice about these titans you just twist and your filter system comes off and you can you can clean out your pre-filter super easy it looks like the uh, the turbine filter, which is the one that sticks out here, you've actually got to loosen with a, a hex wrench and pull that off. And, and I don't know how easy it actually cleans out versus these Titan ones, you can clean them out with an air compressor or a vacuum. And then it looks like the, the actual um, motor 
filter to cool the motor you have to pull off with um, a couple quarter inch screws right there yeah. versus twisting and yeah this I that. mean the cleaning these filters man that's super easy so I, I really do like that so um, when it comes to the the coolness factor I mean which one looks the coolest I don't I mean which one do you think looks the coolest yeah, is your favorite color blue or red <laughs> yeah I mean this thing looks, I do like the stainless steel That's I mean this cool. it's kind of interesting this looks like uh, a lunchbox it looks like I'm yeah. heading heading off with my lunchbox <laughs> um, they, they they are both super cool I do I'm, I'm getting old so um, and I'm not as strong as I used to so I do really like the fact that this one's a lot lighter and um, but you know, like I say, we this has been an awesome unit. The Titan Cap Spray unit's been an awesome unit. We love it, and so we're off. We're going to be um, testing this one out from Graco, and we're going to see how it goes. We'll start putting it through its paces and yep. seeing how we like it. Yep. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video on um, you know comparing these two HVLP units, um, one from Titan, one from Graco. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Please consider sharing this to all your friends that uh, want to know about. Um, HVLP sprayers. Don't forget to follow us um, or follow us or um, how about we just tell you go check out our website <laughs> theidahopainter.com giving away um, tools and accessories. We're going to be giving away a Titan cap spray on Facebook. Yeah, coming here. up here. So check us out on Facebook, uh, The Idaho Painter. We're on Instagram also. We, we love Instagram. We love it and Instagram loves us sometimes. Yeah, we got some really cool uh, one 30 second, one minute clip videos teaching you, you know, um, how to do stuff on Instagram. So follow us, Instagram is Idaho Painters. So any other announcements we need to tell anybody? We got a live show every Monday. Every Monday, come join us and, and we'll work through a bunch of different things. Yep, give away, um, st give away tools and stuff on our live show um, and we'll answer your questions. So I think that's about it. Hopefully you guys, um, have a wonderful day and we'll see you on my next video out so we forgot something to add here if you guys have uh, used any one of these units don't forget to let us know what you think about them in the comments in the comments below let us know do you you know do you like the titan do you like the Graco? what problems have you had with each one of them and uh, let us know this is how we learn any problems how you worked work through those problems what you like about them um, what you like good about them, any good qualities, bad qualities, just leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it.